Hello amazing artists. I first want to start off by telling you how much I miss you. It has been so lonely here at home just making art by myself. So I decided it would be a really great idea if I came to you and showed you how to do some really cool artworks based on artworks by a very, very, very important artist. So, even though we're not at school, I am bringing the lesson to you. Before we get to his story, Marc Chagall, let's talk about way back in the day. Before the 1800s, most art was paid for by rich people or religious institutions. Most were very real looking, but in the 1800s and 1900s, artists started to do their own thing. They created art that was colorful, bright, and clever. They were called modern artists, and all their work was all kind of different. Today, we will be learning about the artist Marc Chagall. All of his artwork was very colorful. It was very different. It's something that you might imagine up in a really fun dream. There were objects floating around in the sky and a bunch of different interesting things were happening. Mark made a lot of his art during World War II. He was on the run from the Nazis because of his religious beliefs. That being said, he moved around a whole bunch, but he still missed his home country of Russia. Even though the town he grew up in was destroyed during World War II, he still created a lot of pictures of the small town that he grew up in. Enough talking. Let's get going. Today we're making bright, colorful houses just like Marc Chagall's. In our artwork, we are also going to have some really silly things happening. Our first step will be to get our supplies. First, you will need a blank sheet of white paper. Your white paper is going to be longer than it is tall. That means it's going to be horizontal. Horizontal is a line that goes left to right or right to left. You will also need some colors. You can use crayons, pastels, markers, color pencils. It's your choice. Step two, draw a line. In step two, you will use a brown or green color to draw a wavy horizontal line across your paper. Step 3. Draw houses. You'll start off on the left side drawing a house. Your house can be any color you want, but the house next to it needs to be a different color. Not only that, but it needs to be a different shape. It can be round houses, or tall houses, or really red triangular houses. Step four, add plants. We are going to use curvy lines to create some beautiful bushes and some lines that meet at the end to create some pointy plants. I almost forgot, we need to add trees. I'm going to add trees by putting some curved marks back here using my green color. In step five, we're gonna get silly. After a long pause, I figured I'm going to add fish to my sky because Mark Chagall's father was a fisherman. You can draw whatever you want to in your sky, but if you wanna do fish too, this is how I did mine. I drew a curvy line, then I did an opposite curvy line, I gave him fins next to his belly. Then I finished off the fishy by connecting the two lines at the end of the fish and giving him scales. For step six, we are going to color in the sky. I colored mine blue, but you can color yours black or purple for night. In fact, we are going to fill everything in with color. After all that work, there you have it. Your very own Marc Chagall inspired artwork with your imagination in the sky. Great job artists. See you soon.